everybody, Drake here again with another Minecraft tutorial, and today I bring you the Hidden Fireplace Entrance. Now, I have seen a ton of these on YouTube, both in past and in present, but I figured I would come up with my own design and my own concept, just to kind of custom tailor it to my own request. So basically what this design does, uh, whenever you press this button that's located over here, this back wall will fold into itself, and then this fire here will be extinguished for about 5 seconds, allowing you to pass through. So I will go ahead and demonstrate that as you can see, and then you go ahead and pass through, say this is your room, your secret entrance, you have stuff hidden back here, whatnot. You simply just press the fire on your way out, you just extinguish it with your hand, you can proceed through, and then you can press this button once again to lock it all back up. And as you may have noticed, there is zero visible redstone with this design, so it is a really, really nice concept as nobody suspects there's anything at work here in terms of redstone. Okay, so I've went ahead and dug around the design so you guys can see what you're going up against in terms of redstone work. So this is the redstone below the system that is underneath the ground that you will not be able to see. And then this is the redstone located above. And obviously I will be tutorializing this in a second as I show you how to build it. But it's worth mentioning that a lot of these blocks that you're seeing right now are not needed at all. They're simply fluff blocks, pretty much. They're not needed for the design, they're just there for either decoration or to throw off any suspicion of redstone work at play. That being said, these are the following materials that you will need to build this design. You'll need some building blocks of any kind. I'm not actually sure how many blocks you will need, um, but I would like to put out a generous amount, so about 64 blocks will definitely cover it. I would say it's more around a 30 range. Uh, you also need 9 sticky pistons, 2 blocks of redstone, 1 piece of netherrack, 6 pieces of redstone dust, 4 redstone torches, 6 redstone repeaters, 1 stone button, a flint and steel, and one dispenser. And I also recommend having three more dispensers just so you can surround a fireplace and it takes away more suspicion from the redstone. Okay, so now that you have the materials in place, we can go ahead and start building this. So first and foremost, you want to take your piece of nether rack and you want to place it in a trench that is three by four by three. That is three wide by four long by three deep. And you just want to place it on the leftmost block here. So it should be sticking up just like this. And as you may have noticed, this will be the center of your fireplace, obviously, where the fire is lit. And then underneath this piece of nether rack, you're just going to place a sticky piston facing straight upwards just like this. You're going to place a repeater going into that sticky piston, a piece of redstone dust behind that sticky or uh, repeater rather, and then two redstone repeaters facing the opposite direction on full tick delay. And then they're going to lead into this block, which is going to have a piece of redstone dust next to it, a repeater on full delay, going into this block here, put a redstone torch on top of that block, place a block on top of that redstone torch, and then place a torch on the side of that block right next to this piece of nether rack that we placed originally. Okay, next you just want to place a sticky piston directly above this repeater that we just placed down here. So it should be facing out this way, and then you can place a block of redstone right in front of that sticky piston. Just like that. And then you can place a block on top of that sticky piston with a piece of redstone dust. Come up two blocks above that piece of redstone dust and place a redstone torch innervating it. So this piston will be activated, which will activate this sticky piston down below. Now on that block that we just placed that torch on, you want to place your button. So if you press this button, this piece of nether rack will be retracted down. Okay, next we want to place in our dispensers. So right above this torch, you want to place in a dispenser facing inwards towards this nether rack. And as I mentioned before, these can be regular building blocks which will surround it. However, I do recommend using dispensers as it does take away from the suspicion that redstone is being used. Okay, next you're going to come to the left of the design, right back here. You're going to skip back one block from these dispensers, and then come diagonal one block. And then right here is where you're going to place your four sticky pistons facing inward. So they should be just like this. And then you want to place two sticky pistons facing inward like this, with whatever type of building block you want in front of them. So, if these pistons were extended, and these ones were extended, these blocks would basically seal off this back wall. Okay, now you want to come over to this torch that we placed originally, and you want to place a block on top, with a redstone torch facing outward, with a block on top. You want to place one block jutting down in front, with a redstone repeater facing outward. Place a sticky piston facing upward just like this, with a block on top. Now on that block facing backwards to what will be the front of the design, you're going to place another sticky piston just like this with a block of redstone. Now on top of these sticky pistons that we placed originally, you're just going to place a rectangle of six blocks just like this. And then you can place your piece of redstone dust right here, place a repeater on full delay, and then two pieces of redstone dust just like that. So now if we press this button, you will see that this back wall will extend outwards, as it should. And if you press it again, it will be retracted back. Alright, now the last and final thing you have to do is just place your flint and steel inside this bottom dispenser here. So if you press this button, the wall will close, 
and the fire will light. And if you open it up, it will retract the wall back. After about 5 seconds, it will light the nether rack again. Alrighty guys, from here on out, the entire design is complete. So you just need to basically prettify it up however you want to. I'm just going to place some bricks here, just so you get a general idea about what I'm doing. And I'm going to place a stone brick here as the chimney coming upwards. And you can do as I did even in the demonstration. Maybe place a staggering of stairs coming up, just to kind of give it an offset look. Um, place a little archway above these dispensers here just to kind of give it that nice look, and I would also recommend placing buttons all the way around these blocks, just to kind of take away from any suspicion that redstone is at play. So if you enjoyed the video, please drop me a like down below. If you really liked it, press that subscribe button, uh, favorite, share it to your friends, drop me comments, all of that good stuff. I love reading all of it and hearing from all of it, so thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.